Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading. July morning is coming and that is why I'm coming with this design for double brick stitch bracelet in hippie style. And uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing because I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. And I also did these earrings that are a match to this bracelet and are also in this beautiful uh, hippie style or maybe some guys said that it's more like an Indian style but you will say which one it is in the comments if you want I'm showing this really easy and step by step even if you are a beginner and you don't know about the brick stitch you will be able to make this beautiful bracelet and the set as well check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials Thank to all of you guys that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads, white, golden and turquoise. This is a clasp and a jump ring in old gold color. This is Nymon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but you could use them to go through the difficult beads or attach your jump ring. Now, what I'm going to take is three feet of thread on my needle, which is about 90 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, so what I want to take here on my needle are two white and two golden beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will leave here a small tail because later I will put my needle on it to finish my work. Okay, now what I want to do is as I'm exiting from the golden two beads, I will go back through these two white beads. And I'm making this. Okay. Then what I want to take are two more goldens and I go back through these white beads. And you see, I'm arranging them one next to each other like this. Now what I want to do is to reinforce this first joint here. Okay, and I go through these two golden beads. I take three more golden beads and I don't go through the white but I go through the golden here. Okay, now I have this shape from where I will start my double brick stitch. And I'm starting it with two golden and two white beads. And I'm going under the first thread bridge here because I'm expanding my work, I'm increasing my work, which means that I have more beads in each next row. Now, what I want to do is to go through these two white beads that are closer to the center of my work. Okay, and I have this. Then I take two white beads and I go under the next thread bridge. There are only two thread bridges here. I'm going under the second one now with two white beads. And then I take two more golden beads and I go under the same thread bridge here that I have. Okay. If you're not familiar with the thread bridges here, they are between my beads. Between uh, each and every bead I have thread bridges. Again, I continue with two goldens and two whites and because I'm increasing, I'm going under the first thread bridge that I have here 
in this row. And then I go through these two white beads. If you're not familiar with the brick stitch or double brick stitch, this, just follow the steps and everything will work out. Then I take two turquoise beads and I go under this thread bridge here. Only in my first step I add four beads, then I add them two by two. Then what I need are two white beads and I go under the next thread bridge that I have here, which is the last one of this row. Then I go back through these two beads. Here I don't have any more thread bridges, but what I want to do is use the same thread bridge that I've been with the white beads, the last one, and go under it with these golden beads. And then I go through the goldens. Then I take two goldens, two whites, and I go under the first thread bridge. I will start my work always with a golden and a white in this pattern. Then I go through the beads that are closer to the center of my work. Two turquoise. two whites and two goldens that I'm adding under this last thread bridge that I've been through with the white ones in my previous step. I always start with two goldens, two whites, go under the first thread bridge here, and through the whites. Now I'm going to add turquoise, white turquoise, two by two. Then a white and a golden at the last thread bridge. I always start with two goldens, two white each row, and this is my last increasing row. I'm going again under the first thread bridge, and in a while I will show you a decreasing row and what's the little differences between increasing and decreasing. Okay. Now I will add turquoise to two whites and turquoise two by two. Mm -hmm.
then a white and a golden. And from here on, I will start decreasing brick stitch and how I do this. Again, I start with two goldens, two whites, but instead of going through the first thread bridge between the golden and the white, I go under the second bridge, thread bridge under the white and the turquoise. Okay. So this is one of the differences between both increasing and decreasing. And I go again through the one that is closer to the center, which is the same. But now you see how they uh, are stretching a little bit. That is why the other difference be between decreasing and increasing is reinforcing the beads by going one more time through them. In this way, I make them come a little bit to the center of my work like this. Then turquoise white, turquoise one by one, which is absolutely the same thing. that I will continue with a white and a golden like I did so many times before. Again, I take two goldens, two whites, and I go under the second thread bridge between the white and the turquoise. Then I go through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work. And after that, I reinforce like I showed you before. So going under the second thread bridge and reinforcement is the difference between increasing and decreasing brick stitch. It's so easy. Again two goldens and two whites and I go under the second thread bridge here. Go back through the whites and reinforce. Again two goldens, two whites, second thread bridge go back and reinforce. Uh, 
a white column and a golden column. Last time two goldens, two whites, second thread bridge. Then two goldens. And again, three goldens to finish your work. Okay, guys, now my element is ready and I want to do absolutely the same elements to connect them in a bracelet. And you see, I have them here and I still haven't cut my tail thread of those elements. And now I'm going to show you how to turn this into a bracelet okay and what i'm going to do next is to take two golden beads my clasp and two golden beads and what i want to do is slide those down then i will go back through this golden bead here and i'm going to reinforce it Okay, now I have my clasp attached and here what I want to do is to make a loop like this, go twice through the loop I've made, pull, and I want to go through the following two beads and what I want to do is to cut my thread okay now I will put my needle here on this thread here on this one I'll do this off camera and I'll be back okay and I have my needle here on this thread and I will do absolutely the same thing that I showed you before I'm going through some beads in this direction making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made, pulling and going through the next few beads after that cutting my thread just like this now what you should do guys is pause the video and make one absolutely the same element like this one and when you do don't cut your thread because we'll use it to connect it to this one Okay, and how are we going to connect it? Okay, as I'm exiting from the middle one, I want to go in the next one and go here like this. Now, what I want to do is connect this element to this one. Okay, how I do this, I take them like this and first I connect these two beads the first of the three that I added in my first and last steps then I go in this direction and I connect the next two beads of the three that I mentioned Then I go through the third one and I want to connect it to this one.
and after I'm done connecting I will go here and again in this direction I will make some knots and cut my thread and then I will make another element let's say this one and I will connect it and I will make four elements in total for my bracelet and I'll be back to show you how I'm finishing it okay guys and as I continue the same way that I showed you I have four elements connected and this length is enough for my wrist if you want you could make it longer or put an extension chain if you decide to make it with four elements and now what I'm going to do after I just connected this last element here absolutely the same way that I showed you is to go through all of those beads in this direction and exit from the other side of your work okay and I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here and I'm exiting here guys at this part of my work I went through all of those beads and I'm going to take five golden beads and my jump ring and as I'm exiting from this golden I skip the middle one and go through the following okay now what I want to do is to reinforce my work and here I will use my pliers to do it okay and after reinforcing two or three times what I'm going to do is to make a knot and cut my thread and I showed you so many times how I'm doing it and I cut my thread and my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my hippie style double brick stitch bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done like I did these earrings as well and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself you could also check description for a full list of materials link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook page thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support that you're giving me guys and i can't thank you enough for these actions you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and in this way you help me so much. You might also want to support me in PayPal and by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or looking at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.